Hey guys, this is DJack Tech, and today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to create an intro video using Keynote. So let's get started. So today I'll be showing you guys how to make uh, my intro um, for for DJack Tech using Keynote. You want to open up Keynote, um, go into White. Um, or this is actually very important slide size. Um, I do twelve eighty by seven twenty. You can do whatever you want, but twelve eighty by seven twenty is the best ratio for like not HD, but really good um, pixel pixelation for YouTube and the size ratio. Then you want to hit choose, and then this is where you're gonna get. For me, um, I delete these things. Um, I don't. I like. I don't like things like straight in the box. I do my own customization ones, so I delete these. You 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 don't have to if you don't want to, of course. But for this video, I am. They want to hit text box. And then you want to de shack tech. And then you want to. I don't know. Let's make it bigger for this video. Seventy. Move it up anywhere I want. And then let's add a shape for more for another thing. Shape, yeah, okay, there we go. So there's my arrow. Okay, so now it's just a plain outline keynote. Um, but if you want dynamic text or dynamic um, shapes, what we want to do, this is the main part of this whole entire thing, is going to Inspector. This is where you get this build drop-down menu. It's basically, this is where you get to put in all the actions, the build-in actions, and the build-out actions. Um, so basically, you want to select what you want to do. I'm going to select the text right now and go to build-in. This is what's going to happen in the beginning part. You want to hit effect, go down to none, and then you want to find whatever one you want to do. You click on one, and it'll show up in the smaller box like this. It'll, it'll show you a quick preview. But right now, I'm going to do convergence. And then I'm going to go down to arrow. And I don't know, move in. Okay, but that's pretty good right now. But what I want to do now is go into more options, and then this build build order will come out. This is actually um, pretty interesting. You can start the build on click or automatically after transition. Um, because I'm making an intro using QuickTime, I have to do things all automatically. I can't hit the space bar in QuickTime, so I have to do it automatically after transition. So line line automatically after build one. So it automatically go after build one. So let me show you guys real quick right now. Third is DShack Tech arrow right after DShack Tech without me hitting anything. Um, it just goes right off the bat. Um, and then you want to do the build out. It's very simple. You do the same thing like before, you hit, except you hit build out. Select the text. Um, go down to disappear, diffuse. Um, select the arrow, build out, none. Go to fly out. And then go the same way. DShack Tech text. Um, start build after build two after build three. Um, let's do a quick preview again. DShack Tech, arrow comes in, diffuses away, and then moves away, flies away. And that's a pretty simple way to have dynamic text and a cool intro. But right now I'm still in Keynote. How do I get into QuickTime and up into YouTube? Well, to do this is actually quite simple. All you gotta do is go down into Share, go to Export. And basically this is allow you to, to export it into QuickTime. But main, the main thing here is what you want to do is go to Manual Advanced, go down the drop down menu, and go to Fixed Timing. This will allow you to um, make the slide go by itself in QuickTime. You won't have to have different QuickTime videos, it's just in one video. And then you just like that, Fixed Timing is perfectly fine. I've, we're not, this doesn't, for some reason, this doesn't change anything. I don't know why, but I don't mess with these things for some reason. It doesn't do anything, it just stays the way it is. Um, you can then you want to hit next and then you want to then it's going to tell you where do you want to down to export your movie and that's pretty much it for this video um, that's pretty much what I do for my um, intro of course I have way more graphics and way more text and arrows and shapes and all that um, that's just a quick video how to get an intro of keynote so that is how you create an intro video using Keynote. Hope you guys like it. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Tell me what you guys think of this video and what I should do next time for another tutorial. Um, follow me on Twitter for my thoughts on the daily tech news. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, DShack Tech, for more app reviews, tutorials, and app news and rumors. Um, and as always, thanks for watching.